Hey everybody, it's Friday, time for Facebook Friday. Hope you guys have had a good week. Uh, this week we are playing with some sharks and some dolphins and some stingray. This is called Friendly Fins, super cute. I didn't know I needed a hammerhead shark stamp, but now that I have it, I love it and it's so fun. So I'm gonna show you some projects today using this set. I think this is a good um, kid set. If you've got kids in your life, I think uh, masculine cards too. And also um, just summer type cards, right? Um, I love a good ocean set. I love a beach set. So I was really excited. This is one of the very first things on my order, um, believe it or not. All right, I see you guys jumping on. Let's see if I can find you. Um, all right. My daughter is texting me suddenly. Now she, <laughs> there's a tournament this weekend that she's been asked to play in and I'm like, I don't have time to talk about this right now. And she's like, oh yes you do. No patience that one. All right, anyways, um, let's see, I've got some things to tell you. Where do I wanna start? Um, how about, how about paper pumpkin? Did you guys get your paper pumpkins this week? This month's Paper Pumpkin, I actually put it together. It's called The Best There Is, and it's really a masculine set. Um, there are nine cards in it, and they coordinate with the Country Woods Designer Series paper. Really cool, here's the stamp set. Um, it's got a Happy Father's Day stamp, if you need a Happy Father's Day stamp. Um, and Misty Moonlight is the, the spot, the ink spot. Also, I really like the envelopes, they are wood grain, if I can get them out of here, wood grain paper. I love an envelope that's not just a white envelope, right? Anyway, I have some extras if you didn't get yours this month. Every month this happens, somebody's card didn't go through, it was canceled, something happened, didn't sign up in time. That's why I get extras, okay? So if you need one, please email me and um, I'll be happy to send it to you. All right, the next thing is, what is the date today? I don't even know where my calendar is. We have one week, right? One week from today. Is that, April? I'm still on April. Wow, still on April. Let's change it to May. Okay, um, I was thinking it was June. Remember last week, I kept thinking it was June. All right, so next Friday is May 31st. So we still have one whole week of May, okay? Um, that means you have one whole week to take advantage of two things. This month's All-Star Tutorial Bundle, Country Woods. It has 12 video tutorials in it. Let's see if I can show you. All featuring the Country Woods suite. Here's mine, little treat box. You get this PDF for free if you spend $50 with me. And I can't remember when I sent it out. I don't think I've sent it out this week yet. So I will do that. Um, I try to send it out once a week. Sometimes it's more like every 10 days. I gather up all the emails from everybody who's ordered and I mail this, email this out. So you get it for free if you spend $50 with me. If you do not shop with me, that's okay. If you are a demo yourself and you want this PDF, it's $15 in my PDF store. Um, it's 12 different demonstrators who come up with these projects. I'm just one of the 12 um, and they're all videos. Some um, of them are from the UK, some of them are from South Pacific, Europe, and of course, United States. So the measurements are both in Imperial and metric. So if you're interested in that, we also did a blog hop last week, week before last, where we even showed even more projects. So if you're looking for ideas using either the Country Birdhouse or the Country Flowers bundles, this is a great resource. All right, so that's May. Um, what is next month? I can't remember. I cannot remember, is it? I don't know. I can't remember what next month's PDF is. I'll tell you guys next week because next week I'll have it done. <laughs> okay, I'm going to flip you guys around. Let's flip you around and let's talk about the starter kit also. One week left to take advantage of the starter kit special. Let's see if I can get my phone in here the right way. Hold please. Let's see, how does that look? Are the lines straight? I cannot stand when I look at my video and the lines are not straight on my table. All right, they look pretty good. Okay, let me move this stuff. So the starter kit special this month, as you guys know, starter kit is always $99. You pick out $125 in product of your choice, anything you want. Um, 
this month, still the same, $99. You pick out $125 in product of your choice, but then you also are gonna get the five in-color ink pads, five in-color markers, the pack of designer series paper, and a pack of cardstock that has all five colors in it at no additional cost. And this is an $82 value. So $125 plus 82, it's over $200 in value that you get for $99. And the shipping is free. And then you are a demonstrator. Now, don't worry, you don't have to do anything like I, you know, some people think I'm not going to do what you're doing, Erica. That's totally fine. Most demonstrators, majority of people who buy the starter kit are doing it um, for themselves to get the discount, to maybe make a little bit, you know, selling products to their friends. Any, either way, even if you are your one and only customer, that is still okay. Stampin' Up! knows that. I know that. Um, all, everybody's welcome to join my team. Um, whether you want to try to um, run classes or you don't want to do that at all, both totally fine. Um, as part of my team, you get my PDFs for free. So like that PDF I just showed you, they get that for free. My class PDFs, my club PDFs, they get all those for free. They get discounted class kits. You get a discount from Stampin' Up. Um, you get early access to the catalogs. That's my favorite perk of being a demonstrator is that early access. Um, we get to pre-order from the catalog which is really fun. Uh, we do creative challenges and swaps on my team. Uh, my team is spread out all over the United States. They're not just here in Texas with me. We're all over the United States. I do my team meetings um, online so that you could participate in those if you want. Anyhow, it's a great, it, it's a great month to buy the starter kit. Um, we have these five beautiful in colors and you get it all for free. If you're interested in that, there's a link um, at the top of my blog that says join, you can click that or on today's PDF, I think I put the link on the second page I did right there. So pinkbuckaroo.com is my blog and you can um, hop over there. Has anybody checked to see if it's up PDF, blog post? Did I schedule it? <laughs> I can't even remember. I think I did. Um, it should go live when I go live, ideally. That happens about 50% of the time. Okay, um, Club Create. Club Create's another fun thing that I offer every month. It's a subscription club. Thank you, Susan. Thank you uh, for checking. She says, it's up. Thank you, Trisha. Um, club Create is $45 a month, and you're going to get five projects to make. You're going to get about 20, between 20 and $25 in product. So you're going to get some designer series paper, some embellishments, um, usually some kind of trim, um, twine, ribbon, and uh, you get a PDF and a video. The videos are usually, they are from start to finish making the projects. It's about 40, 45 minutes. They come, they look like this. We make you a little gift tag. Although, you guys, this month's gift tag is delayed. I told y'all last week something was lost in the mail. Well, it was the gift tags that we make for you. My friend Lisa helped me with those. And believe it or not, it said it had been delivered. And my mail guy was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I delivered it. Well, he didn't. And he found it the day I shipped the kits. <laughs> so they went out without the, the tag. All Lisa's hard work she did for me this month. But I will send them in next month's tag. So next month, next month's kit. So next month. You're gonna get two uh, gift tags. But you do your own stamping. You'll need the stamps and dies each month. So this month, right? No, next month, June. This is June. Next month is Adventurous Sky Airplane. Love this suite. I really love these little um, hardware. I can't remember what they're called. These little embellishments are really cool. Um, but if you stay, you can cancel Club Create anytime you want. You can stay for one month, two months. But if you stay for the full six months, you get a $25 product credit on your sixth month, which means I send you an email and say, let me know what you want to order. And then you pick out something worth $25 and I include it in your kit in the sixth month. Um, I have some people... I think we're coming up on our either our third or fourth anniversary. I need to go back and check. But this summer, I have some people that have been with me every single month from the very beginning, which is incredible. That's a lot of kits. Um, and I am actually, I just ordered something special to be sent this summer. 
in our anniversary kit. So get excited. If you're in Club Crate, you're going to get a goodie from me. Um, I believe it's July. I was thinking about sending them in June, but I think it'll be July um, when I send this, the, the anniversary gift. Okay, if you would like to subscribe to Club Create, again, that link is here on the, today's PDF. It's also, there's a tab at the top of my blog that says Club Create. Click that. And there's a link there to subscribe. There's all the past Club Create kits listed there too if you want just PDFs. And the PDF option also includes the video. It has the video on the first page. Um, but you can scroll through and see all the different kits that we have done. Um, the next month, July, is gonna be the Mediterranean Blooms. I am in love with that suite. Oh my gosh, in love. So that's gonna be July. Um, and August, I don't know if I've chosen August yet. I don't know. I, you know, I, I hate to pick something out ahead of time and tell you guys, and then every now and then I'll start playing with something and just like, okay, I can't, this isn't, I can't come up with good enough stuff with this right now. So sometimes I have to change things. But July's projects are 90% done, so I can promise you July will be Mediterranean Blooms. Okay, um, one other thing, a little sneak peek I wanna show you. Um, I have a class to go coming in June and it is the Charming Duck Pond. Have you guys looked at this, um, this suite of products? Uh, I am in love. This may be some of the cutest stuff we've ever, ever had. The ducks are stinking cute. The paper is beautiful. And um, the stamp set, which I love, Stampin' Up's really done a lot of this lately. You have the stamps, and then this is a two-step stamp that you can stamp, or you can color if you're like me, you wanna color with your blends. And then the die to cut it out, but then the die also will cut out a bird from the patterned paper. If you're like, I don't have time for that today, I need a quick card, then you can use the die to cut out the duck from the paper. So anyway, I am designing a class, I'm not done, I have five of the cards done, I'm gonna make a mini album because this stuff's so cute. You, you just, the paper, so cute. Um, I don't, it reminds me kind of, remember when we had the whale paper? I can't remember what that was called. I, it was a little six by six pad too. This is what that reminds me of. And I did a mini album with that, which is what has inspired me. I feel like this needs to be a mini album too. So anyway, class to go coming next week, okay? Yes, Jana, you know I was gonna do a class with this. I love it. I, it may be my very favorite suite in the whole catalog. I love it so much. Okay, you guys, that's it. Today's projects, I just wanna let everyone know, are simple. We really overdid ourselves last week, I feel like, <laughs> with the projects. They were pretty intense. I mean, I went a little crazy with techniques and layers and all of that. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna take it back down to a more simple level this week. So this week's cards are a little more simple and they're not gonna take us nearly as long. Um, the PDF is up on my blog. It has the three projects we're gonna do. The colors are totally off on this printout, totally off. Um, that is Pretty Peacock and that in that printout does not look like Pretty Peacock to me. In real life, it looks more like blueberry bushel. But anyway, you can print this off, save it, um, do whatever you want with it, it's free. Uh, there is a host code attached to today's make and takes. And by the way, if you put in an order this week for um, free class kits, thank you very much. Um, you guys, I am rounding the corner to my $2 million in sales. I think it'll be July or August, probably August. And so you guys are, have really helped me this week inch closer. I'm really grateful. So, um, Lisa, yes, it did. Did I not show it? Did I not show? I, you know what? I cleaned up my office because we have a guy coming to clean the windows. I wonder if I tucked it away. I did see that. I thought I showed it. Did I not? She sent me the cutest box. I'm going to have to find that because literally everything here on my desk is gone because of the guy who's coming to clean the windows. I'm going to have to find it. Yes, Lisa. So Lisa sends me really cute stuff. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah. So all the free shipping. Thank you. Thank you for everybody. Um, your class kits are already packed in their envelopes, but they're waiting. I'm going to send you also today's Facebook Friday kit 
as a thank you. Um, so those will go out probably Wednesday. I'm not gonna work much on Monday because it's Memorial Day, so they'll probably go out on Wednesday. Um, anyhow, thank you. And if you didn't order during um, this last week's free shipping, not to worry, you can still qualify for today's projects for free. Any order over $35 between now and Monday at midnight using this host code, we'll get these three projects as a kit from me for free. And they look like this. They come, you will do all the stamping. I don't do any stamping. You see here, these are just gift tags. They're not part of your projects, a little thank you tag. Um, but they come with everything that you need, um, embellishments, uh, die cuts other than the die cut that I'm the die set that I'm featuring um, and I send them to you for free as a thank you um, you will need the friendly fens bundle for today's projects or you can use whatever you have um, you don't always have to use what I have what I use you can use it for whatever you want um, but the deadline for that will be Monday at midnight okay um, the other part of that is I have giveaway prizes every week. Tune in, Julie O'Neill. Julie, I do believe I have your mailing address unless it's changed. I'm going to send it to you on Tuesday. Um, let me know. I'm, I think it's the same. But anyways, how cute is this? I started working on this this week too. We're going to do this next week for Facebook Friday. Tune in. So cute. So Julie, thanks for sharing my video. You have won the Tune In Bundle. I appreciate all the shares. It helps me find new customers, which I always appreciate. Um, let's see, what else? This uh, bundle is what I'm gonna give away next week. If you don't have the Country Birdhouse bundle, you need it. It's so fun and sweet. Um, I will pick somebody at random who shares the video here on Facebook or on YouTube. Also, I wanted to tell everybody who bought a paper share, they are packed and ready to go. Um, they actually will go out on Tuesday because I am a few envelopes short and they will be here tomorrow, which is Saturday and Monday's Memorial Day. So there's no mail on Monday. So they'll all go out on Tuesday if you ordered a paper share from me. Um, and then I'm all caught up. Yay. I can start designing and working on June. I can't believe it's June. Okay. That's it. Let's start stamping. Um, let's see, I did show you the paper pumpkin, right? I wanted to make sure to show you that. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but there's nothing else here, so I guess that's it. All right, so make sure you get your free PDF over there, pinkbuckaroo.com. Who's ordered this? Somebody commented, Tony, was it you who said that they just ordered this during free shipping? Um, it's really fun, really, really fun. It's two-step stamping, again, where you stamp the outline and you stamp what I call the filler image, um, or, you can color, which you guys know I love to do, but we're not doing any coloring today. We're gonna to do all two-step stamping, okay? The first card we're gonna make is, this is this is a swap card that I did. I'm trying to, let me make sure I'm centered. I'm gonna zoom in just a bit. We do a team swap every month, and this was my swap for this month. Um, I love this little guy, he's just very cute. And I really wanted to play around with some colors. So we're using Calypso Coral, our new Peach Pie, and Azure Afternoon. I thought that was a fun color combination. All right, the really cool thing about this set are the dies cut out the images, but also there are some really cool dies like this one. What do you guys call this? Like coral? I keep calling it coral. Like, you know, in your fish tank, you have a little thing where they can swim through. So that's that. We even have a lobster, if you saw my card yesterday. Some other little pieces of coral, like maybe some kelp. So we're going to do some die cutting. Um, we're going to do quite a bit of die cutting. Let me get all my pieces out. Um, let's see. Do I have everything I need? I am missing my memento black. And I think, here it is, over here. Hold on. All right, but you know what? I didn't use Memento Black on him. No, I used Smoky Slate. Okay, so we don't need that right now. We do have everything that we need. It is like coral, right, Catherine? Yeah, I think it's coral. All right, there's two ways to do this uh, two-step stamping. You can start with the outline image, which is what I like to do, or you can start with a filler image and um, see which one turns out the best. 
all right? So play around with it and see. Um, if you have a stamp positioning tool like our old Stamparatus, that would help to get these to line up, but I find they line up pretty well. All right, I'm inking that in Smoky Slate and I'm stamping off. And then I gotta pull it down a little bit so I can see. And then you just line it up and there you go. All right, easy peasy, no problem. The sentiment we're gonna stamp in Azure Afternoon along the bottom. We're just gonna chop it off and make a strip. Thanks for everything. The sentiments in this set are pretty broad, like make a splash, happy birthday, my friend, here's to you, thanks for everything. So, you know, it's kind of a wide reaching, vague, love. I mean, thanks for everything. Just cover a lot of things, right? All right, let me move this back. Okay, so now for our die cutting, let's see. Hey, have you guys, Lisa, I know you've posted about this. Have you guys had the cicadas where you are? We have something, it's not a cicada, it's called a Katie did. And I thought it was a cicada, but it's not. And they are super duper loud in the evening, right as sun, the sun starts to set. But they, they're about this big and they look like leaves. Um, they're, they're kind of shaped like a leaf with these big like legs. Um, but we don't have Katie Dids down here. Lisa, you said it was really, really loud, right? Um, the, not the Katie Dids, the cicadas, what are they called? Are they locusts or the cicadas? What are the, what's the, what's the right name for them? I'm suddenly drawing a blank. Where's my, I need to get my little, my little shark first. Um, let me tell you what else I'm cutting. We're gonna cut this little rock from this paper that's also in the background. This is the Two Market Designer Series paper, the one with the carrots. And Oh, I think that may be what we're doing in August for Club Create. I love that, that little set, so cute. All right, we're gonna cut this little coral from Peach Pie. We're gonna cut our fish from Azure Afternoon. And then our shark, we gotta, I think I'm gonna use some tape on him just so he doesn't, the dye doesn't jump around. Um, cicadas, all right, cicadas are so loud by you, Angelique, are they? So ours are really, really loud too. I, when we, the first year we moved into our other house, so that's been 12 years ago, it was like something I'd never seen before, apocalyptic. I remember driving into my neighborhood at night, nine o'clock at night, and having the radio on and it being so loud that you could just hear them through the car. I don't think it's quite like that here for us this year, but I know for you guys in some places it is. So weird, right? How they live under the ground. Um, they're a very specific brood that returns every 13 years. So weird. That is just so strange, isn't it? Yeah. Um, cicadas are what they call, but some places they're also called locusts, but they aren't at all like grasshoppers. I've seen them. They have like red beady eyes, right? Ours are similar to a grasshopper for sure. There was one above our back door yesterday and it sounded like, it was so loud. It sounded like the window was open. I even had to look like, did somebody open the window? No, it was just that loud. So gross. Um, they're up kind of northeast down through Tennessee, right? Here, we don't have them. The one, the one thing I, you know, I need to be thankful. We have walking sticks galore right now. Do you guys have walking sticks? They look like sticks, but they're these bugs and they're gross. Oh, you know what? I need to bring that machine back over because we need to cut this frame. I have a piece of Calypso coral and we're gonna just use our circle die, layering circle die, right in the middle. And we're gonna cut that. I was kind of thinking, you know, kind of like an aquarium here. Thanks for the share. The brood ones have a very specific location. It, it is crazy. It is, it's all just weird. Here this weekend, we're supposed to have Record heat, you guys. You get to hear me complain about the heat again. Heat index is up to 112 tomorrow. Yikes. 
And you know what? It's been real gloomy and like hazy because in Mexico, um, they're burning, I think it's the sugar cane crop. And so all that smoke comes up over Texas and it's uh, hazy and yucky and gross. I know, I just, I told my husband this week, we, when we retire, we're moving somewhere north somewhere north and he said yeah we got to be careful because then we deal with this, the cold weather and I said well maybe we could have two houses <laughs> he started laughing I'm like come on oh so it's still snowing in the mountains in Colorado wow Susan that is crazy crazy okay um I saw a picture from um at, uh, not Estes Park but uh, Rocky Mountain National Park that they had to close, what is it called, Ridge Road up there because it was like snowed in. It was, they showed a picture and it was like blizzard. That was yesterday. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, so here's our To Market Designer Series paper. And we're gonna put that just flat on a thick white card base. Here's our Calypso Coral Coral. <laughs> Calypso Coral Coral. And I'm going to, you know what, do I have my little bowl? I need to keep these dimensionals contained because I have been finding them everywhere lately. Everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of eyeball this. I want it to show, let's see, our, our circle's gonna kind of go like that. So I think like about like that, okay? And then, I've been doing something lately where I double stack the dimensionals. We're gonna do that here too. Um, when you double stack a dimensional, it's gonna make your, you're gonna have multiple layers. Not only is this popped up, but now this is gonna be popped up even higher than that. And yes, you need the non-machinable stamps if you're gonna mail this, but to me it's worth it. All right, so put this, I think a non-machinable stamp now is a dollar, which is like what in the world is happening? That's insane. All right, we'll put two dimensionals on this guy, like this, and we're gonna have his tail kind of coming out from the coral, and we'll put him, let's have him like that, okay? Now let's get our strip. Did you see what I did here? I just chopped it as a little strip. And it's about a half an inch tall and about a half an inch longer than the sent than the, the sentence. All right, we're gonna put our little rock that we made, our polka dot rock right here. Uh, I'm making a mess with the glue as always. And we'll put, uh, I hate when I get it on my fingers. And we'll put that piece of coral right there. Okay, so just lots of little layers. Now let's put our two little azure fish over here. Are you guys doing anything fun for Memorial Day weekend? My kids have Monday off and then next week, no, they actually have two weeks left of school. Next week is a regular week, and then the week after that is finals week. There we go. Y'all know how I feel about summer vacation. Even big kids, I'm still dreading them being home all the time, especially my youngest. You know, 15, no, no driver's license to go anywhere, so she's gonna be very stir crazy. She's gonna be wanting me to drive her around. She wants a job. I think I told you guys last week, she wants a job, but nothing has come to fruition yet. You know what, I'm gonna show you a trick with this twine. This is the twine from the twine essentials pack, or you know, our twine pack. And when I tie it like that on the bolt, it's always twisty, right? The, it just like twists, it doesn't, the bows won't stay straight. But I have found if I take it off, if I cut it off like this, it is more, less twisty is what the word, see? It just ties perfectly. I don't know why that is, 
Um, but I have found that if you are having twisty problems with your twine, cut the piece off and then tie it. It makes a big difference. All right, glue dot, we'll put this, let's put it right here. We need to do a little snip. And then we're gonna use my favorite embellishment in the whole catalog, the dappled dots. Isn't that what they're called? Dappled dots. Who came up with that name? They're like crackle. They should be called crackle dots. I still like the name dappled though. Dappled dots. They're super cute. I think they're unorderable right now. I think they're out of stock, but so cute. And there you go. That's it. Easy peasy. See why I made it a swap card? Didn't take me too terribly long, right? And the colors are fun. Really fun. I really am enjoying peach pie. It looks great with Calypso Coral. Looks great with pumpkin pie too. Okay. All right. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. Now this next card is not my own design. It is a case. You guys know what case means? Copy and share everything is what it says. So when you do that, I don't have a problem with casing. Just make sure you give credit, right? You got to give credit where credit is due if you case. You guys, there is a cardinal right outside my window looking right at me. Wow. That has never happened. That was weird. Crazy. Anyhow, um, I mean, it was like one foot from the window. One foot. Beautiful. Um, if you run your nail or a pair of scissors on it, like you curl ribbon, take the curly part out. Really, Patty? Huh. Interesting. It, like straightens it out, right? Interesting. Um, <laughs> Judy, did you swap? Did you swap with the, in the, um, I think it was the leaders group. I did send some swaps in for that. I didn't think I was going to be able to, but I did. Okay, so now this card, every week we get an email from Stampin' Up! Demonstrators get an email. And in the email, there's like stories about other demonstrators. There's news and there's always some project ideas. Um, this week, well, not this week, this email had three projects using um, this stamp set. And it had like a real simple one and then a little bit more stepped up and then one that was a really stepped up. So of course that's the one we're going to make really stepped up. And we're going to use, they use the, um, they took this die right here, the bubbles die and made a mask and then took the embossing paste and added it as bubbles. And I was like, you know what? That's a little bit too complicated. So we're just going to use the pearlized enamel dots to make the bubbles. Okay. All right. And we're using the so swirly embossing folder. Have you guys seen these new embossing folders? How big they are? Look how big it is compared to the card. It's big and it's fun. It's a, not a 3d. It's just a regular, um, regular size. I can't get anything picked up off this tray with my nails for some reason today. Okay. So this time we're using the little dolphins. Let me get my paper. We're going to stamp the two dolphins in the same exact way that we just did our sharks, except this time I am going to use memento black for the outline. I'm going to do it both ways and we'll see which one is best. Okay. Um, so we'll do the outline first and then the smoky slate stamp off. And then let's see if I can get my head right on top of it like that. Okay. Now do it opposite stamp, stamp off, stamp, and then do the outline. And I don't do quite as good when I do it this way. Which way do you guys like to do it? Outline first. Oh, that was actually pretty good. Actually, no, it's off right there. Outline first or solid stamp first. Which way? Okay, we're gonna use um, my Summer Splash, which I need to get from over here. We're gonna stamp this sentiment, make a splash. What kind of, where, what would you use? Oh, you know what? I think I just stamped that <laughs> in the middle where I needed to cut out my coral. Let's see, do we have room? Mm, no, I'm having to get another piece of paper. What would you use that sentiment for? Make a splash. Like, good luck. 
right? Like something like that. All right, so we're gonna cut that out. Let me grab another piece of white. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see if this is big enough. You know what, I should have just done it on the edge. I knew when I stamped that, I'm like, there's something else that's supposed to go here. We're gonna cut out white coral. Um, for this one, we are using this little die set called Happy Little Things Dies. All, it's two dies. It's this little stitched banner and then like a little stitch label. So we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna cut the paper down so I have room on my platform. So we've got that. And then we've got, we're gonna do the coral in um, Summer Splash and the like kelp, I guess maybe, kelp in um, Green Apple Green. And then the fish are Flirty Flamingo, but I forgot to get that. So we'll use this little scrap right here of Calypso Coral that we just used, that we just got out of our previous project. Okay, so all of that, let me put all the inks away so we don't make a mess. When is Facebook gonna fix this glitch that I can't see the comments unless I tap the screen? That really bugs me. It's been like a long time and they need to fix that. So outline first, Tony, yep, that's me too. You, yeah, Angelique, so most of you are saying outline first. I think it, you know, for me, it depends on the stamp set. Oops, I just hit my head on the light. Some stamp sets, I think I do better the other way. I guess you just have to play around and see. All right, dolphin die. He's cute, he's a little smiling dolphin. All right, we'll put that, you know what, let's just do some tape on this one too because we're sending a lot of things through here Oh, you guys, I'm out of the camera. Okay, hold on, hold on. Not that you really necessarily need to see this part, but you don't want to see nothing. All right, here's our coral. Okay, this time we're gonna ink that. Don't worry, it's not gonna be white. We're gonna ink it up. And then Summer Splash, and then our little fish, our little fish. And we'll put the sentiment on in a minute. Okay, put that on there, go all the way through. 7th of June and they will be bored, Sandy. You know, it takes them about one week to get bored, doesn't it? One week. I know, our school district is going back earlier this year. So we're going to have a shortened summer, which hallelujah. Um, they're going to go back the middle of August instead of the end of August. And then they'll get out earlier, a week earlier, which I like. I think I would rather, because August to me is the worst month of summer because, well, when they were little, all the camps, there were no camps. Vacation Bible school was done. You'd already gone on vacation. It's hotter than Hades. There's nothing to do. I hate August. So I feel like it's better like, okay, let's just get it, you know, let's just get it going. Let's get school started. Um, we used to start, when I was teaching a long time ago, we would start even earlier than that. Um, but I remember as a kid, I went to the same school district that my kids go to. I remember going to school after Labor Day. So who knows? Who knows? They just change it all the time. But August, ugh. and then my daughter, tennis, they have something they call back to business, which is basically like, you know, pra when practice starts. They try out for their, their spots in the lineup, and that starts July 30th. So I was like, oh my gosh, that feels, that feels a little intrusive. <laughs> July feels a little intrusive into summer. But, oh well. We're going to try to go to the beach. We like to go somewhere for my husband's birthday, which is July 30th, but I guess that's not going to happen this year. This will be her last year of tennis. She'll be a senior. Um, you guys, um, this die I have found if you poke the top one, it's best. You can use your take your pick die brush, which is this right here. If I can get it. This one right here. But with these little ones, I just find it's easier for sure to use your take your pick tool like that. Okay, now make sure you put your dies back because they're little. 
And you know what happens? They get lost. Oh, let's do our embossing. All right, for this embossing folder, since it's not a, um, it's not one of the 3Ds. Oh, you can't even see again. Hello, I'm out of the shot. Sorry. All right, I'm gonna take my card and I'm just gonna put it up to the line right there, okay? And we took off plate two, leave plate one, and then the two clear plates, which is a pretty tight fit, I will tell you. Let's see, okay, move that. Let's see. It fits, but it's pretty tight. They say don't force it, so what do I do? I force it. One time at Stamp Club, when I had a stamp club at my house, we forced it and it got stuck. And my husband had to come and he was taking apart, it was when we had the big shot, and he was taking apart the big shot. We had to like do surgery on the machine. It was funny. Okay. <laughs> all right, we've got all of our pieces. Now let's ink up. Hopefully I haven't lost any. Let's get our grid paper we're gonna have back here. And we're gonna use Coastal Cabana and a little small blending brush. All right. Occasional green screen, Terry. Sometimes that does happen. Um, like completely get out of Facebook and come back and see if that helps. Oh, no, I need this. Okay, basic white. Uh, Coastal Cabana, I'm gonna run it. I don't want it very dark, so I'm gonna run most of it off over here. And then I'm just gonna do like a circle right here like a little ocean, little blue ocean, okay? So I've got that. And then for this one, we are going to, it could possibly be, oh, that was actually Summer Splash, not Coastal Cabana. It could be internet. We've had some weird internet glitchy stuff going on out here, so who knows? All right, now I'm gonna add ink to this, and I, I want it kind of splotchy. I want it kind of darker in some places than others. I don't want it real, like solid, just to create some interest. This is Petal Pink. And then I'm gonna take Petal Pink. Now here, I wanna try something. Um, you guys know when I flick my blends, I go like this, right? Well, I saw yesterday on the Stampin' Up! account, one of the artisans said to take your bone folder and do it like that. Hmm, this is a light one. It's not really doing it so much. Let me get a darker one and we'll try it because then you don't ruin the tips of your of your marker. Okay, hold on. Let me grab a darker one and we'll try it. We'll try dark as your afternoon. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, okay, can you guys see that? It's different. It reminds me of, remember when we had that, if you've been around a while, let's see the difference. So when you flick it, you're gonna get big splops big blobs. See, that's flicking and then that's tapping. Huh, okay, we learned something new. Remember when we had that thing, you guys, that would hook to your stamp and write markers? What was that thing called? It looked like a, like a bulb syringe and you'd like that and it would flick the ink from your marker. What was that thing called? I loved that thing. That would probably still work if I still had it. Okay, now, um, dimensionals. Somebody's gonna remember what it's called. Yours is flick green too a couple of times. Maybe it is my um, internet. Maybe it is, I don't know. You still have yours, Joan? What's it called, do you remember? Sp split spritzer, was it a spritzer? Yeah, Jean, that's what I'm thinking, spritzer. Bold thing to airbrush with the markers. Yeah, it was cool. It was a cool tool back then. All right, let's see, I'm gonna put this, let's go a little bit lower, like that, okay? And then, so I need a treat idea for the TV, the tune-in stamp set. What do you guys think? What kind of, what kind of candy could go with a TV, tune-in? I need, I'm having trouble coming up with treat ideas lately. 
Sandy sent me some retro candy. Maybe I should pull that out. Thank you, Sandy. And for the bundle. I didn't tell you thank you for the bundle, too. Milk duds. That's a cute idea, Susan. Ooh, milk duds would be fun. I like milk duds. All right, make a splash. We're going to put that there with, I just did like a strip of dimensionals. Let's put it down here low. And then we will get our glue. We're going to put some of our... You put one here and one back here and take your take your pick tool and then we're just gonna kind of put this I want to put it down behind and we'll put this one kind of in front we'll grab some of that glue back there um, Bath and Body Works you guys has a Malfi What's it called? Basically, they have a new line that matches our Mediterranean Blooms suite. It's lemons and oranges with blue and white patterns. So if you're looking for things for that, I went in there today and grabbed some. It's all like lemon scented and orange scented. I think mostly lemon. I think only the hand sanitizer was orange. All right, let's put our little fish swimming through here. Bath and Body Works, <laughs> you know, I need to just stay away from there. Today, they had their travel, all their little travel sizes for 2 and $3, which to me is what they should cost, not the 5 or $6 that they normally charge. So if you need some travel Bath and Body things, I don't know if it was in-store only, but I, I got some. All right, my fish is upside down. We're going to pretend like it's not. <laughs> We're going to pretend like he's, well, maybe he's just doing some, some flips. He's not floating upside down. Um, I would flip him over, but now he has glue on the backside of him. Um, they also have a whole suite, suite, they have a whole line of Bridgerton Bath and Body Works stuff, which is really cute. Um, color spritzer tool. Gail even has the item number. Gail, you're still with it. 107066. Too bad we can't order it anymore. That's so funny, Gail. It is awesome. Color spritzer tool. So we were right, spritzer. Movie popcorn, 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 popcorn. You guys, I didn't even think about popcorn. You're so good. I just need to ask you guys from the beginning. Mech is the original candy wafer. That's a good one too. Patty Shark Week. Patty Sharky, I hope you got this bundle. You need it. Um, turn him facing the other way. Yeah, but he's following his dad. It's like Nemo and his dad. <laughs> okay, last but not least, we're going to take this pearlized um, enamel effects. And you want to just make little dots and pull straight up. It makes like a little Hershey Kiss shape, but when it dries... It's like a little round bead, all right? And just try to get them kind of equal size. Now, like I said, the original design, they had taken the bubble dye, and made a mask, and then used their um, embossing paste, which is fun too, but I wasn't feeling it. And my embossing paste is dried up too, so <laughs> I don't have any right now. All right. There we go. Aren't the bubbles cute? They're so cute. And then I also, I mean, because I can't leave well enough alone, how about some of these? These dots have the best name. They're called Dots for Days. Isn't that a fun name? I do like that name. I'm pretty critical with stamping up in their names. I give them a hard time. But this one was good, whoever came up with this one. All right, there you go. Cute, right? Cute, cute. And you could simplify this. You could take away most of it and just have like that and then one dolphin and maybe like one kelp and one coral and it would still be super cute. Make a splash. So what did we say? Graduation? I think graduation is a good idea. Hold on. Scrolling back because I asked you guys and I missed it. Graduation. Is that the only suggestion we have? Make a splash. It's cute. It's cute. Or just change it that says happy birthday. <laughs> okay, now listen. 
the dots. I tell you guys this every time. Don't just set it on your desk and think, okay, I'm going to let it dry there because you will lay something on top of it. I promise you will. I do it every time. So take it and go put it in a window seal somewhere and let it dry. Give it a good 30 minutes. Okay. Takes a good while for it to dry. Okay. Last but not least, we have a treat. A treat. And I feel kind of like this is a cheating project, like I cheated this week, because I didn't make the box. I bought the box. These boxes are from Amazon, and they're designed for handmade popsicles or something. I don't know. I linked them today, but they have gummy sharks. My girls love gummy sharks. I didn't really even know that was a thing. But you can get them at Target. I ordered them, of course, from Amazon. Now I have gummy sharks for days. Hey, if you guys have teenagers, let me ask you. There's this trend going around on TikTok. And my daughters both did it with their friends. And you make a gummy salad. Okay? They go to the dollar store. They buy all this gummy candy. And they dump it all in a bowl and stir it around. And they call it a gummy salad. I don't get it. I'm also a little worried about the next dental appointment. Because now they have this giant gummy salad that they're picking from. Sounds dumb to me, but it's a TikTok challenge. I'm like, how about we make a vegetable salad and make that a TikTok challenge? They were not interested in that at all. Okay, so we're gonna just really basically make a tag for our gummy sharks in our little acetate box. Um, again, the box was purchased, not made, purchased, but look how cute he is. Um, I, my color inspiration um, came from the paper. And look, the paper is the duck paper. Okay? It um, has a little, like, dots. And I thought that looked like the ocean. So that's where I started with Pretty Peacock. And we're going to stamp our shark in Memento Black again. And we will do a Pretty Peacock shark body let me get my little grid paper shark body shark fill in if you will ink it ink off or stamp off and then stamp all right oh i didn't do very good let's try it again let's try it again Okay, one more try, stamp off, and you want to look at the tail, and the fin, and the face. Ah, it still didn't do very good. All right, well, we're leaving it. Two, you only get two chances around here. And then we're stamping happy birthday, and we're going to cut that out. I hope I left myself enough room with the little postage rectangle. Um, <laughs> gummy sharks, no, Barb, they're very different. Gummy sharks are more like a gummy worm. They're not like a Swedish fish. They're like a gummy worm. So I, I feel like Swedish fish is very different from a gummy worm. They're like gummies. Okay, let's cut this out. Um, shark dye. You know what else would go with this? And I hate to even speak the words because then it's going to be stuck in your head. But the baby shark, there's a lot of baby shark things like fruit snacks and little like crackers and snacky snack things. So if you're looking for more ideas, remember when that song just played nonstop? My kids were too old for that, but still, that baby shark... Ooh, that will get stuck in your head. Okay, so we've got our shark, we've got our sentiment, and then we need to make our frame. And I wanted to show you, because the last time I did this, I had questions about this. To make the outline, you guys see the little die? I wanted it, again, to look like an aquarium. So we have this little ring around the edge. You guys see it? I'm kind of out of the frame again. Um, all you do is you take one circle and another circle that are close in size. And you set them down on there and you run it through. And I use the big circle to cut out the designer series paper. 
All right, so you keep that for something else. And then there is your frame. Cut out your DSP, which we already did. And then we gotta cut the coral again. Hot pink coral. This, oh, my piece is not big enough. We only need a half of this coral, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. This is Berry Burst cor uh, Glimmer Paper. And we've got a lot of um, glimmer papers right now. A lot of different colors, kind of got multi-packs. Plus we've got the new in-color glimmer paper. So if you are a glimmer paper fan, you should be happy. But you've got a lot of choices now. All right, isn't that pretty? All right, so we're gonna just start with that and we're going to, we just want half of it because the whole thing's not gonna fit on our circle. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of do it there in the middle like that. And then take my scissors and snip that off. Ah. And then for the ring, I like to use, this kind of looks like a shaker and it, you could totally make it a shaker but we're keeping it simple today, remember? Um, this is These are our foam adhesive strips, and I don't think I put this on the supply list, but if you look in our adhesive section, you will find these. They're great for shakers, um, but they're also just good for dimension, for long, when you need like a long, skinny, dimensional, this is good. And I'm just gonna go all the way around like that, and look at that. I'm gonna just snip it off a little bit. If this was a shaker, we would want those two pieces to butt up next to each other, but it's not a shaker, so we're not gonna worry too much about that. All right, peel off the back, and set it right down on top, like that. All right, let's double up our dimensionals again. You thought one dimensional was enough, you were wrong. We gotta have double dimensionals, double up. All right, so that it, remember we've got dimension here and we'll make our shark just a little bit higher with two dimensionals. And then we'll do the same thing with the happy birthday. I'm gonna put it on the left side so it can overlap. Trail mix with goldfish and candy candy gra gravel. Oh, that would be cute, Lisa. I thought you said grave. I was, I was like, a grave? That would be the kind of fish that lived in my house. <laughs> okay, we haven't had a fish in a while, but they didn't usually last very long. Okay, so now, okay, before we put the bubbles on, because we're going to do the bubbles the same exact way with the enamel effects. I've got pretty peacock and gold ribbon. You just want to take it in. Oops. Tie it around like this. This ribbon is nice. It's very light, not, not difficult at all to tie. And then snip and snip. And then for our tag, you're gonna just take a hole punch and punch a hole and get your twine, your baker's twine and we're gonna tie it to the bow. That way, our recipient can just slide it off and dig in. Maybe we should make, ooh, we should make a an ocean gummy salad. We could use the gummy fish, the um, Swedish fish. We could use the gummy sharks. And then maybe, what about some lifesavers? <laughs> gummy lifesavers or Gummy nerds, I bet that would look kind of like the gravel, right? The rocks, gummy nerds. Have you guys seen gummy nerds? You can make your own gummy salad. Okay, now, again, we're gonna do little dots for the bubbles. There we go. All right, and that's it. These would make great little party favors, I think. If you've got teenagers in your life, they like the gummies. They do like the gummies. So that would be a fun little birthday thing too. And I bet a gift card would fit down in this box pretty easily. All right, that is it. I'm gonna set this one over here so I don't mess it up. That is it today, you guys. 
I think these projects were much easier than last week's. You know, we had to do some hard stuff and then we got to do some simple stuff because sometimes, let's be honest, we don't have time or the energy for the complicated things. That's why I'm, I am this week. I don't really have like the energy for complicated. I'm just kind of, I think it's the weather, the gloomy, hot, monotonous. It gets me this time of year, just muggy so muggy in my office and I'm just like, I don't have the energy for anything. So we're keeping it simple. All righty. I have uh, two bonus projects for you. I showed you one yesterday. It's that one. And I, I used um, Beauty of the Deep with it. That's the that coral there and that and the anchor. And then the, there's a cute little red lobster and the um, stingrays. And there's that countryside, oh, what's it called? Country N, Countryside N designer series paper. I love using that piece for the nautical, nautical look. Um, and then on Monday, I've got this card. Now here's how it was. I made it just a regular card like this for a swap. But then I was like, what if we put the, the two pennies on it? You guys ever made one of these? Can you see the pennies? Let me see if I can slide it out. You make um, like a slider sandwich. Oh, I can't get it out. Well, I'm gonna have to, there we go. Okay, so can you guys see how there's two pennies in there? And it, you put the, um, I'm trying to turn it so you guys can see it, there you go. So you can see, you put, you put the middle circle in between these two pennies and then it slides around, which is fun. So that's an option. All right, let's see if I can get it back in there uh, without tearing it. There we go. And then he just spins around like that. It's kind of tight, so you have to you have to spin him with your fingers. Anyway, cute, right? Very. Oh, there he goes. All right, that's it for me, you guys. This week, next week we'll be using the tune in. Thank you for the suggestions. I love the popcorn idea. Um, where's my other one? What else did we make? I left it over here. Remember, if you would like to get these as make and takes this week, um, just put your order in by Monday at midnight. Um, $35 minimum using this host code. And if you order during uh, the free shipping, I will send you a project kit as well. All right, you guys, have a wonderful weekend. Happy Memorial Day. Um, I hope you have nice weather where you're at and get to spend some time with your family. And I will see you next Friday. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.